we have such a varying amount of different sources. Uh, so we have um, farm water supplies that are from surface water sources. We have farm water supplies that are from groundwater sources. We have um, irrigation supplied systems. We have municipal, uh, uh, municipal supplied systems. And, uh, you know, not each or each one has different management issues along with that. Um, we also have uh, quite a range in regional issues. So what is an issue in the Peace region uh, isn't necessarily a, an issue in the Southern region. Well, as part of uh, licensing through Alberta Environment, um, licensed users are required to um, meter their usage and report back to Alberta Environment so that they know how much uh, they are using. Um, and a lot of others, as far as the individual farms, uh, the small amount, those that are using maybe smaller amounts of water, um, they really don't maybe fully understand what their total usage is. Um, so sometimes it takes actually sitting down and, and applying some numbers to how much their cattle consume. How much does their, their daily household new, uh, needs, what is their household needs, uh, then they can decide, okay, how do I need to better manage my water supplies. I think a lot of us, uh, a lot of producers maybe get a little complacent uh, when times are, are uh, good or moist uh, and then all of a sudden uh, we have some, some periods of, of water shortage. Uh, I know we saw that uh, the last couple of years in the Peace region. Traditionally, they, their dugouts fill every year uh, from runoff. Uh, they have um, uh, enough rainfall to sustain their, their crops and their needs, uh, but then they get into a situation where they're dry and they realize that they don't have the storage uh, and that they're quite susceptible uh, to these dry conditions. Um, our regional agricultural water specialists are there to help producers in doing their, their planning. Uh, we actually provide some financial assistance uh, or incentive for producers to create long-term water management plans for their farms. Uh, so this entails addressing their needs of water on their farm, everything from livestock to household uh, to irrigation, and also addressing or assessing what their source is. So is their source from a well? And if it is, how much water is that well capable of producing? Uh, is their source from a dugout? And how much water can that dugout hold? We recommend at least a two year supply of water in dugouts, um, up to even a five year supply in some really uh, areas where high, with high evaporative losses. And there are a lot of undersized dugouts in Alberta. In Alberta. We do offer assistance through the Growing Forward Water Management Program for agriculture producers uh, to develop or expand uh, water sources. So these could include a new well, these could include uh, new dugouts or expansion of dugouts. Um, and those are the two main projects, but we also will help fund dams and uh, spring developments as long as they meet all the Alberta environment um, um, requirements. Um, and the, the assistance is one-third up to $5,000 for the producer to, to develop these systems. And who's, who's this open to? It's open to any agriculture producer. Uh, so if they produce uh, $10,000 of farm uh, commodities uh, per year, then they're eligible uh, under this program. Um, the other requirement is that they do a long-term water management plan uh, and have it reviewed by a Alberta Agriculture Water Specialist and, uh, and, and approved and then once it's approved they can go ahead and construct their project. Awareness, uh, especially with things like with wells, um, the water comes out the tap and sometimes we're not maybe fully aware of what's going on in the well. Um, more so I would say with uh, new rural water users. So we have a lot of um, rural residential uh, expansion in the province. We have a lot of 
of, of new well owners. So that they've never been on a well. They, they grew up in city and they were on a municipal system and now they've, they've come out to enjoy the country life and all of a sudden this water well management is, is a new um, issue for them to look after. Unfortunately, a lot of times we wait until something goes wrong. Uh, before we look into how to manage it. And what we're trying to do is through education and awareness, through programs like our Working Well Water Well Workshop program, is promote proper management and proper maintenance right from day one to ensure a long, healthy um, water system.